Hello, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my home. Today I am going to be showing you some different chair poses and different movements in your spine that you can do while you're sitting all day at work or even some of these poses can be done in the car, not recommended while driving. Um, just some things you can do to loosen up your body from sitting all day. Um, so recommended is a sturdy chair um, one preferably with wheels that you can lock or don't use a chair with wheels at all. And maybe a padding for your seat. <laughs> I also, um, optional today is using yoga blocks as supports for certain poses. So real quick, go ahead and you'll find a neutral seating position in your chair with your feet flat on the floor. You can roll your shoulders and everything. And then you'll take a deep breath, reaching up and twist to the right as much as your body does naturally. You're not forcing an extended twist here. And then you can bring your arms down, maybe one to the back of the chair and one to your thigh. And look over your shoulder and take some breaths here. And then when you're ready, inhale, you can reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, twisting to the left, again, neutral, as much as your spine will twist on its own, we're not forcing anything. Bring your arms down, looking over your left shoulder, taking some breaths here. And then you'll inhale, coming back to center. Same idea, keeping your feet on the floor. Now you can do some side bends. So reaching up and on your exhale, bringing your right arm down, You can bring it to your thigh, you can bring it to a chair arm or to your chair, or you can let it hang down if you're comfortable, kind of working on a balance there. And then you'll reach your left arm up and over and you'll breathe into this left side of your stretch. You can look up, maybe twist just a little bit. And then when you're ready, inhale, coming back to center. And then exhale, going over to the left side, bringing your left hand where it's comfortable, reaching up and over, Looking here, focusing your breath into that right side, coming back up to a neutral spine. The next thing you can do is chair pigeon. And here, for a little extra support, if you have shorter legs, you can bring a block to your left supporting foot. So this foot is supporting you kind of like in tree pose. And then you're gonna bring your right leg up and over. And you're gonna rest you know, your foot, your ankle, or your shin, wherever you find that comfortableness in pigeon pose typically. And you're gonna allow your leg to rest on your left thigh. And from here, you can just focus your breath. Maybe you can focus it in that stretch you feel in your thighs and in your hips. And then if you're comfortable, you can begin to fold forward just over your torso, over that leg there, like we do in pigeon pose on the mat. And focusing your breath, making sure your shoulders are rolled away from your ears and not hunched forward, and that you still have a nice neutral spine. So you can undo that gently. You know, you don't wanna just throw your leg back out there. Use your hands to support your leg and bring it back to the floor. And then you'll move your yoga block if that's what you're using. Place your right foot on there, find that stability. And then using your hands as supports, bringing that left leg up and placing it on your thigh where it's comfortable. Finding that nice tall spine, maybe focusing your breath here in the stretch. And when you're comfortable and ready, you can forward fold. Checking your spine. And coming back up. Staying in that position as long as you need. And then the very last thing I want to show you today. Sitting on the edge of our seat, clasp your hands behind you. And then when you draw your hands up, your chest and your shoulders are naturally going to open. 
This is a really good chest opener. It's a good shoulder stretch here. And you can bring your hands up. You can bring your legs long. There's different variations that you can take with this pose. You can bring your legs long like this and kind of sit here and work on your balance and your core and breathe into that stretch as you open your chest. And you can also forward fold. You can also forward fold with your knees bent. I don't want you to think that you have to have your legs long and with your uh, belly over your thighs. Or if you want to take it even deeper, bring your legs into a goddess stretch with your legs wide and your knees bent and fold in between your thighs, provided you're in a sturdy chair. And just opening up here, nice deep stretch. Coming back up and unlacing your fingers after you found your, your upwards uh, neutral spine again. Then it's safe to unlace your fingers. So that's a little bit of chair yoga that you can do after you've been sitting or if you've been sitting for a really long time. And um, if you're interested in more chair yoga, you can check out my chair yoga yoga practice that will be available on YouTube on March 13th. March 12th, <laughs> but um, you have a beautiful day and let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comments below. Bye.